Hello everyone, my name is Michael Gall and I am the Head of Customer Success at Scriptrunner. This will be the first video of our tutorial series for upcoming Scriptrunner users. In this series I will guide you through the installation, show you all the elements and give you an overview on Scriptrunner. Have fun! You can get your own trial on scriptrunner.com. Just hit the get your free trial button directly on the start page. When you are done with the registration, you will be forwarded to the download page. On this page, you can either start a download or make an appointment with our product expert Heiko Brenn. After the download is completed, you can unzip the file. For the beginning, you also need to manually download the .NET hosting bundle. Here, the latest LTS 8 needs to be chosen. We start the installation with the .NET hosting bundle. After that, we can install Scriptrunner. The first question in the wizard is whether you have already used Scriptrunner before. If you are new to Scriptrunner, you should take the recommendation and take the example actions. Experienced user can here choose the second option. After that, the installation starts. After completion, both the connection for the script on a portal and for the Sysmo daemon are created on the desktop. The default port for ScriptRunner is HTTP on port 80. When you open the portal the first time, you need to register your system. After that, the ScriptRunner can be used for 30 days without restrictions. If your system does not have internet access, you can submit your container ID to your email address support at scriptrunner.com. A trial extension is also possible. For existing customers, we have created the URL support.scriptrunner.com. Here you can download our latest version. Have fun and keep on scripting!